Group Link's Everything Help Desk. This video will show you an overview of the end user portal for Group Link's Everything Help Desk. Let's start by logging in. You can log in with your LDAP credentials if your Help Desk is integrated with LDAP. If you don't have a login, you can click the New User Register Here button and create your own account if allowed by the system admin. So let's go ahead and log in. To submit a ticket, click on the New Ticket tab on the top. First, select the group that the issue or request falls under. For this example, we'll be using IT. You'll notice in this top section that the contact information is automatically pulled. If set up, your location will also auto-populate. However, if needed, you can change the location from your default to the location where the issue is located. Next, select the category and category option that best describe the issue or request. The accuracy of these items will ensure the ticket is sent to the correct technician. So for this example, we're going to select software and then Adobe Reader. As you can see, the assignment automatically populated when I finish narrowing down the issue. Use the subject and note fields to further describe the issue or request. So for this example, we're going to say that our Adobe Acrobat needs updated. If needed, the ticket can also include a CC or a BC, and a copy of the ticket will be sent to the email address listed, whether or not they are using the help desk. You can also include attachments in this section here, such as screenshots or other images, if needed. When you've completed the ticket, click the Save Changes button at the top. Now when a technician updates your issue or request, an email will automatically be sent to you with ticket updates. If the technician has questions or if you need to provide more information, you can simply reply to the email update and it will update your ticket. You'll notice here on the My Tickets screen that once your ticket has been saved, it will appear here under the Own by Me tab. This is where you can see all open issues or requests that you have submitted or someone has submitted for you. The final portion of the end user portal that I want to show is the knowledge base. You can access the knowledge base here by the tab at the top, or if you sign out, you can also access the knowledge base from the login screen. The knowledge base can contain solutions to common issues as well as documents, processes, and much more. You can see a few examples here. The Human Resources Department has provided the Employee Handbook as well as answers to common questions about paychecks. You can also search for the solution to the issue you are experiencing. Simply enter keywords up here and then select either subject, body, or subject and body. And you can also narrow it down by group. So for this example, we're going to search in all groups on how to set up our voicemail. Once you find the result you're looking for, simply click on the title and you will see the instructions for setting up your voicemail. This has been a quick overview of the end user portion of Everything Help Desk. For a more detailed look into the end user portal, please reference the help files by clicking on the help icon in the upper right hand corner or contact your technology department. Thank you.